Hey guys, this is just a quick follow-up tutorial to my last video for anyone who wants to get the old radio stations back in GTA, The Lost and Damned, and Ballad of Gay Tony. Okay, so before we start, just a quick reminder for anyone who followed my last video, make sure to put back the E1 and E2 radio files back into their folders, otherwise the radios will not function properly. If you have lost or deleted those files, you will have to reinstall the game. Moving on, the next step will be to make sure you have WinRAR installed, as this will make the process easier. I have left a download link below. Once you have done that, you will need to download the EFLC radios file, which I have also left a link for in the description below. Once downloaded, open the EFLC radios file, open the EFLC folder, and leave on the side. Next, you need to find the GTA 4 game folder, which is either located in the Rockstar Games folder, or the Steam folder, depending on where you bought the game from. My game is from Steam, so it is installed in the default location, which you can access by opening File Explorer, then Local Disk, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 4, and leave it on the side. Now you can begin replacing the files by first opening the Common and Text folder in the EFLC Radios file, as well as in the GTA 4 Game folder. Then you can highlight the files and drag and drop them from EFLC Radios into GTA 4. Do the same for PC, Audio, Config, and SFX. Once that has been done, go back into the main GTA 4 game folder and open the TBOGT folder. Do the same in the EFLC radios file. Next, you want to open the PC audio folders within TBOGT and replace the files within the config and SFX as shown. Then, repeat the last step again for the TLAD folders, and that's it. Then, you should be able to launch the game and check if the songs have changed. Thanks for watching.